just <laughs> Thank you, Thank you, Great. Great. Just great. Yeah, yeah. You sit down, please. I'm the serious part of the program. Very serious. I have never sung a song with Frank Sinatra, never acted with him, shared his stage, nor been a member of an orchestra under his baton. Nor was I there when he was presented with either of his Oscars, his Emmy, or any of his nine Grammys on those memorable occasions. We are, however, old friends of some 30 years, and I have risen to my feet to applaud his blazing artistry at numerous charity performances, raising countless millions for the victims of the world all over the world. This is a party for him as friend, not a tribute to him as humanitarian, at his own insistence, I might add. But I am compelled to say out loud, here and now, what a few of us have known for years. Fully aware is what he likes to hear least and discourages most. Some several years ago, I looked at a call sheet of a film I was doing and to my astonishment saw that a two-day small part was being played by one of the greatest stars of my time. I had long thought him retired. I asked him how things were going. He said the difficulty was he couldn't get work. I asked if there was anything I could do to help. He said, no, no, you know who is taking care of me. Frank is a giant among the givers of the world. He stands among the tallest. He more than paid rent for the space he occupies on this planet. Forged as he is from legendary loyalty and compassion, carefully hidden. Hidden because he has so ordered it. Other than himself, there is no one who knows of the magnitude of his generosity. He has chosen to be the sole anonymous keeper of that knowledge. Mr. Anonymous, you have asked to be. Mr. Anonymous, you shall be called. At the risk of further offending you, Frank, I appear as the herald of grateful multitudes who have opened those unexpected envelopes, special delivering answers to their prayers, those awakened by late night phone calls which remedied their problems, only on condition they shared your covenant of secrecy. Those who were surprised by signed checks with amounts not filled in. Those performers down on their luck who landed that role they never expected and still don't know whom to thank. And for untold other beneficiaries, of the caring and kindness of this splendid man who truly is his brother's keeper. And they are legion, those whose lives took a turn for the better, because this man, who 50 years ago tonight was a skinny 18-year-old high school dropout unloading cargo ships by day on the Jersey waterfront and singing at night on a Hoboken corner outside Hillman's Hall, a street corner poet burnt to the bone with the fury of his own ambition, hoping, hoping desperately someone would notice him. And they did, they did notice you, Maggio. Grazie bene, blue eyes. God bless you, Mr. Anonymous.